and it's my utmost. Or <laughs> somebody. One thing, Sam is giving it, giving us its utmost to drive me inside to air conditioning. However, with his patio and all the flowers blooming and plants growing, it's kind of inspiring. My wife's done a wonderful job with the flowers that she gets and they live for the summer and <laughs> die off. And then we redo them next year. But we have a lot of plants that grow all year long and those are the ones that I grow up and transplant, mature, and make more plants out of. It's kind of fun to watch as they grow. Kind of like you and me. It's kind of fun to watch people grow up, mature, become strong in the Lord, mature in Him, and more knowledgeable of who He is. And I like that part, because then we have something to share. What next? If you know these things, happy are you if you do them. In John 13, 17. Determine to know more than others. If you do not cut the moorings, God will have to break them by a storm and send you out. Launch all on God. Go out on the great swelling tide of his purpose and you will get your eyes open. Boy, will you. <laughs> If you believe in Jesus, you are not to spend all your time in the smooth waters just inside the harbor. Full of delight, but always moored, anchored at the dock. You have to get out through the harbor bar into the great deeps of God and begin to know for yourself and begin to have spiritual discernment. That coming by your experiences and your walking with him. When you know you should do a thing and do it, immediately you know more. Revise where you have been stodgy spiritually and you will find it goes back to a point where there was something you knew you should do, but you did not do it. Because there seemed no immediate call to do it and now you have no perception, no discernment, and at a time of crisis, you are spiritually distracted instead of spiritually self-possessed. It is a dangerous thing to refuse to go on knowing, to learn, to develop, to become a man of God. The counterfeit of obedience is a state of mind in which you work up occasions to sacrifice yourself. Ardor is mistaken for discernment. It is easier to sacrifice yourself than to fulfill your spiritual destiny, which is stated in Romans 12, 1 and 2. It is a great deal better to fulfill the purpose of God in your life by discerning His will than to perform great acts of self-sacrifice. To obey is better than sacrifice. Beware of harking back to what you were once when God wants you to be something you have never been. If any man will do, he shall know. Like I said, utmost doesn't leave you alone. It will hit you where you're at and tell you where to go. And it won't be comfortable. And it won't be easy. All of us have a destiny. We were created for such a time as this. There's a reason why we live in the last generation. There's a reason why Jesus is coming so soon. And there's a reason why we cannot delay any longer the maturity that God wants to create in us and cause us to be. And that means get up, get out, and get on with it. And it will cost you. But I think back over my lifetime now, and I can't believe it's a lifetime. I have a hard time conceiving of the idea that I've been a Christian for 35 plus years and all the experiences that I've gone through. I mean, there have been some really bad experiences that I've gone through with God, not without God, with God. And even in them, he was there and I learned from them, you know, and I wouldn't give that up for anything. I am so happy with knowing what I know and moving on with what I've learned. People at times when I write on the internet talk to me and say things that about 
the wisdom or the knowledge or how did you come up with this or how did you come to this or that's so wise or that's so great or whatever it may be. And the reality is, is that it's not me that's doing it, but, you know, and we don't even have to go there about, you know, it's the spirit and blah, 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 and give credit where credit is due, but God wants to take you onward and upward so that you can share those things that you've experienced and you can tell people that they can hear God because you have. I don't tell you something that I haven't done. I never will. That's one thing I'll never do on devotional is that if I say, <laughs> if I say the day has come when heaven opened up and I walked to the first heaven, and so can you, I'm not making that if I share with you that God has spoken to me and you can hear his voice audibly, that's not an exaggeration. If I tell you that the Spirit of God is far beyond what man has defined and less than what man has exaggerated, I know. What we do in devotional is that we remind you that far beyond what I am sharing and far beyond what you know is where God wants you to go. He wants to meet today between you and I with you and with me and take us far, far away to a place beyond all understanding and a comprehension we did not know that only comes in the presence of God himself. <laughs> and once you've been there, that's the only place you want to go. So, with utmost, do the utmost and go there. Dare to be with God alone and walk with him today.